Let's go. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do modest Christian girl everyday makeup. Um, you don't see that very often, so that's something I want to bring to my channel and to help bring like modest Christian beauty over to my channel. Without further ado, let's just get into this video. <laughs> So one of the first things I like to do whenever I go into my makeup routine is obviously like some sort of skincare lotion thingy, madoodle. But I really like the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Cetaphil's just a really good brand. I've loved their face wash for such a long time. Their makeup wipes are one of my favorites. Uh, but this is just a go-to lotion. But before I put that on, I wanted to actually share with you guys i've had like really bad breakouts recently and i don't want to spend a fortune on just a bunch of skincare routines so i've been trying to look for cheap but really good helpful products one of the things that my sister recommended to me because she had been breaking out quite a bit she recommended to me these products like alcohol free pads wet pads and they're like exfoliating so you use them like i like to use them once in the morning and once at night and then I like this formula 10.0.6, so totally clean, deep pore cleanser. Um, I've been using this with like a Q-tip or a cotton ball just to apply on my face. Um, it does like kind of tingle, but that's how you know it's working. And I was really, really bad, like super bad last week. And I got this, it's only like $7, and the Stridex stuff is like at least five dollars or under super cheap but it's actually been working i'm gonna go ahead and put on my moisturizing lotion now i feel like this is just a good dose of hydration you want to start off with a really good nice hydrated base so that your foundation can blend effortlessly Ooh. The next thing I like to put on is the Hanalei Lip Treatment. I like it because it just honestly feels like a Vaseline something. I got it in an Ipsy bag quite a while ago. Okay, <laughs> now that I look like a two-year-old with pigtails, it works. Whatever. I don't like for anything to be too heavy or cakey. I just like something very natural and pretty. So what I like to start off with is a really good base. So that base requires like taking care of my acne and doing all of my moisturizers and stuff. So the next thing I like to put on top of that is the Physi <laughs> Physician's Formula Vitamin C Brightening Facial Oil Stick. I'll just like, it looks like this. I'll just put it right around here and then I'll blend with my fingers or massage it into my face with my fingers. Um, I love this because it really does brighten your face so it looks super good under your foundation. Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser, Instant Pore Eraser. This just helps everything stay in place. So once I apply it, I'll let it dry and sit for just a little bit. So the next thing that I like to go into is my foundation now that my primer is dry. I like, again, the Physician's Formula. It's the healthy foundation. It has like SPF stuff in it, but it's got a brightening complex. And it's for all skin types. I just really like this because it's not too cakey, but it's blendable. And it's, it leaves such a pretty glowy, healthy finish. And I feel like um, I speak for all of Physicians Formulas products when I say that it leaves you just feeling glowy and beautiful and wonderful. I don't know, maybe I'm just like biased, but I like, I just like it. And if you're really looking for something that's not gonna cake up, it's just gonna leave you with a pretty natural glow, I really recommend this foundation because it does that to your skin. I like to blend it with a brush just so that way it's not as heavy on my face. And as you can see, once I've blended it all out, it just kind of looks very airbrushed and glowy. So the next thing I like to go into is eyebrows. Today, I'm gonna go with something super easy to use. I like the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. I also like the Anastasia Thit Brow. But I feel like this is something super easy to use if you're just starting out. I like to go very light with my brows, nothing crazy or dramatic. Just enough to give myself some shape right here in the inner part of my eyebrows. 
I like to take the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow gel so it can sit on my brows and just kind of keep them in place. I love this. It's only like $2. Really recommend it. Now for concealer, I really like to use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting just because it's very lightening. Love the way it just brightens my under eyes and covers blemishes. So I'm going to use this little dude and we're going to blend that out. favorite powder of all time is the Cody Airspun. I'm sure you've heard tons of people rave about it. I just love the way it sets. It just flawlessly sets your foundation in place and just leaves a pretty effect and it stays for quite a while. I could go on and on about it but I think you get the gist and it's super inexpensive and this has lasted me like at least a half of a year. I've had this powder for quite a while. I just like to heavily set it right under my eyes. I definitely like to start off with a really good base. That way I feel good about everything else and what everything else is gonna look like. But I really like the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush. If, any, if you hear any squeaking, that's my chair. It's just my chair. It's just really pretty and gives a very nice glow about you. And you can build it up, but whenever you first put it on, it's just a very light, faint blush, and I like that. Just leaves a pretty pink glow about you. As for bronzing up, I like to use, it's the Too Faced Holiday Palette. Um, Too Faced is just one of my favorite brands because they're adorable and it smells like chocolate, but anyways, that's besides the point. I like to put on their bronzer in this gingerbread cookie palette. It's just a really pretty bronzer. It's not too heavy or anything, but it gives your face a nice, pretty, natural sculpt. Nothing like too crazy. So I found that really natural, pretty colors just go back to Too Faced all the time. And this is the natural matte. I like matte eyeshadows just because it, it's not too crazy with the sparkles. I just like something very simple as I've said earlier. Um, but I like this natural matte palette because the colors are just very pretty and plain. Um, I love the variety of little browns and all of those. Um, I love this down here. It's just a palette I would definitely recommend with very pretty colors. Very pretty natural colors and it's like a safe palette. I'm going to take just a little flat brush. I'll put this pinky tone right here on my on the base of my eyelid. And I'm going to mix it with the one right above it. I just like a good base it's gonna be bright on my eyelid and I like to bring it down toward the inner corner and what I like to put next this shade right here um, it's just a pretty brown and it's not too dark when in doubt go with a light brown or right in your crease it may not look like a lot but it really does define key to eyeshadow is just to blend just to keep blending or at least that's my key. I'm no professional with makeup. I'm no makeup artist. This is a routine that I have found and I want to share with you guys who might be looking for help for makeup. For just modest, pretty makeup. Okay, as I said, I like to be simple. I like that look. So I'm finished there. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Clinique is another one of my favorites. And I really like their mascara. So I'm going to go with the High Impact Clinique Mascara. I love this because it gives you some length. And it looks natural. Makeup Revolution is just such a really good, cheap, affordable brand. And it's so comparable to the Too Faced. Like, look. I'm going to go in with that highlight. This the rainbow. Obviously, it's not going to look rainbowish. It's going to give you just a really pretty glow. I just like a pretty youthful glow as I've said earlier so I like to go with products that are just gonna enhance my natural glow. I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu facial spray. I have it in the lavender and chamomile because I just love lavender. If 
you can ask anyone close to me. Lavender, I just have an obsession with it, so that's what we're gonna apply to my face. Setting sprays are just really nice to keep everything in place. So if you want your makeup to stay, you don't want it to move, you don't want to be worried about it, and you just wanna go about your day, um, I found that I really, really like this Mario Badescu, and it just kind of keeps everything in place. It gives you a pretty glow, and it just, melts your makeup into your face without feeling too heavy or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now that I've inhaled quite a bit, I'm gonna show you my favorite lip gloss at the moment. Um, I like to go for a gloss. I really, really like this Sugar Sprinkles Philosophy lip gloss. Philosophy, I'm gonna take my pigtails out now. Philosophy is such a cute brand and I love their lip glosses because they're just really nice and they give you a cute little shine and a playful, youthful little lip. So if that's what you're wanting, um, I assume you've clicked on this video because Christian, modest, pretty, just kind of glowing. And I get you, I get you because our society is so used to big and extravagant things. Um, simplicity is key. Simplicity is timeless. So, as all that's going back to a lip gloss. <laughs> but I love the sugar and sprinkles. Just philosophy is such a pretty, glossy, just natural lip and... <laughs> Their stuff tastes so good. I don't recommend you eat it, but give it a good whiff because it smells good. I'm putting that on now. And you get a pretty shine. And it's not too crazy. It's not a crazy red lip. There's the look. Your makeup routine does not have to be some crazy extravagant routine. It can just be something simple. There's nothing wrong with that. Know that beauty is what's in your heart, not what's on the outside. This is just a fun little something and it's something to dress up with. And obviously as Christians, we're to reflect Christ. So whatever we put on, whatever we wear, um, it needs to be something modest because that's who Christ was. And because as Christians, we have to be set apart from this world. We can't compromise with how the world thinks and with how the world dresses. So this is something that you can try at home and just keep keep doing it it's fun it's a hobby there's nothing wrong with it um but just know that as christians we have to be set apart that was my simple modest christian makeup routine this is honestly kind of my everyday makeup routine but i love the way it looks most of this stuff is pretty affordable you can find at drugstore other than like the Too faced um and the makeup revolution you can find that in like ulta beauty stores you can obviously find dupes and look for what works for you um, I just really recommend, if I'm going to recommend a certain makeup brand that you want to look youthful, glowy, and not too cakey, and you don't want it to break you out, Positions Formula is definitely what you want to go for and try out. Put a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and comment down below, Christian, modest, just different things that you want to see, whether it's beauty, whether it's recipes, healthy, routines. Um, whatever you guys want to see, I just I want to bring different things like this to my channel, ways to incorporate, like, Christian girls and just everyday lifestyle kind of things, because that's who I am and that's what I want to bring to this channel. Check out my blog and everything linked down below, my social medias, all of that, it's all linked below, so make sure you check it out, because when I'm not posting on here, I'm going to be posting one of those down below. With that said, I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye!